A Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all our co-ads out there. And because we want to make this season extra special, I'm going to be sharing to you how I created our Christmas video greeting using Create Studio and it's all access pass. This includes what you can get from the $67 one-time payment license, like the tips and tricks, the camera movements, and you get an overview of all additional elements, especially characters when you subscribe to their all-access pass. If you haven't watched my full detailed review of Create Studio, you can head over to the link below or in the suggested video above. It's where you can find my ratings in terms of its ease of use, pricing, and effectiveness. But this video is more of a tutorial and will be helpful for most of you who might be thinking if the All Access Pass worth $37 a month is worth the money. I will be focusing on the 3D animations since this is what makes Create Studio stands out and most of the ads on are 3D anyway. So let me just walk you through the characters. Remember that when I first purchased the $67 Stanry license, I only had like 8 3D characters but when I subscribe to All Access, I get unlimited. I mean, I think this is more than 20 but as long as you're subscribed, you get access to any new characters they will have. Now there are more industry-based characters available in the platform. Create Studio offers a one-time Christmas bundle for only $49. This means when you purchase this, it will be yours forever along with your existing license. If you were subscribed to their All Access Pass though, you don't need to buy this separately because your access includes this Christmas package, which is a very great deal. Now moving on, I'm going to choose scenes and my characters and then start downloading them. As you can see on your screen, there are so many additional 3D scenes now, including the Christmas backgrounds. I am only having trouble downloading the scenes into characters because for any new elements in Create Studio, you need to download first to be able to use them. However, it will really take a lot of time. For example, I have downloaded some Christmas characters already for my first scene, but until now, I'm still waiting. So I will come back in a few while and I will update you guys how long I waited for my downloads to finish. Hey there guys, I waited for a couple of hours until all the characters and scenes that I want have been downloaded. I am not sure if it's because of my internet or it will really take time. If this is the case, then I hope Create Studio will be able to improve it in the future. Anyway, I will immediately start with our Christmas video now. I have added a few characters to download, so you will see some characters still downloading. But in our first scene, I just want to add Santa Claus on his lay to make a transition. You can flip or rotate your character on your right side by adjusting the Y rotation if it's horizontally. I kind of want this lay a bit rotated because I am visualizing him to be flying up in the air. If you want to keep the element to have the same action, we can add another and click the same writing on a slate. The next part that I'm going to be showing you is where we can move our character from one position to another. So in this case, we will click the plus button beside the animation. You have to tick the position box, then your cursor line has to be at the beginning of your layer, and from there, you can move your element wherever your starting position you want him to be. Then you can adjust the length by dragging the animation layer. So now I have a flying sleigh. You can even choose the movement of your animation, like if you want it to be faster, smoother, or slower. There's just too many to experiment with. The next scene I want to add would be indoor, and there should be a family inside a Christmas home. So we need some children. We can put this cute little kids under a Christmas tree.
Then we can add her baby sister as if they're playing. So again, we're going to be using the animation movement from one position to another. The trick here actually is to know what actions you want your characters to do. Like for the child in a box, I want her to run as well. That's why I'm also adding a running action. For the camera movement, this is their latest update from the moment I recorded this video and I find it so helpful in a way that you can zoom in and out the camera and even pan it from one area to another. And that is our next step. You can click on the camera icon at the top so the purple line will show you the viewer's perspective. You can adjust to the area you want the camera to focus on first and then drag the area to zoom out so the camera will follow. Again, you can adjust the speed of the movement until you're satisfied with the effect. I will be adding some more scenes and elements, but just I want to show you my text-to-speech or automated voiceover. For this project, I will use Create Studio's voiceovers, just a few liners, so very few adjustments are needed. This holiday season, fill your home with joy and thanksgiving. Obviously, I made it very slow, so we will have to reduce the pauses. And once I finalize everything, I will be showing you our finished product. This holiday season, fill your home with joy and thanksgiving. Spend your time with your families. Your loved ones. And find the real meaning of Christmas. A Merry Christmas from Cup and Ads. And that's our short Christmas video greeting. Feel free to share it with your family and friends. If you want to know more about the pricing option of Create Studio, I have my link on the description box below along with my full detailed review. In summary, I personally think Create Studio is very fun and attractive, especially with the All Access Pass. It's a powerful platform and they just keep improving it, so it's definitely in my list of recommended softwares. If you think this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out an update.